Hello everybody and welcome to another basic machinery video. In this video we're going to be talking about uh, nuclear reactors. Yeah, finally. So we talked about the tier one and we talked about the tier two and this is sort of tier three I guess you would call it. This is sort of the ultimate power source if you want to power your uh, machines and whatnot. Uh, the nuclear reactor is a multi-block as you can see here. So there's you have to build it in a particular way so let's uh we'll take a look at it here real quick so the uh you start with the reactor casings and you do a five by five like i show here and then the second layer is uh the, the casings around and you need a reactor controller right here in the middle and then you need these reactor evaporation modules, and that's a three by three there. So that's the second second step. And then the third step, you just add another uh, round of casings. And then here you just do the little box. So it's just three, 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 and three. That one's pretty simple. This one's a little bit different, and you got to build this little triangle or a little diamond shape. Uh, the best way to do this is to put a uh, a casing in each in the center of each of these blocks over here so like right there right just put one in there and then you would connect them so you would connect this one to this one you just put a block here a block here a casing and a block here and then just get rid of these two blocks and then just do that all the way around that makes your nice little diamond and then on top of the diamond you want to do two little squares like this and they're just little three by three squares and they just go you can see the the this part sticking out here that's that little block there so you just go here 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 and here and you do two layers of those and once you get that in you'll see your little your controller will turn yellow right now there's no you know there's no right clicking on it to uh to uh you know set any controls or anything it does it doesn't work like that uh, so once you get that set up you need to add three ports and here we can look at the ports here <clears throat> so you want to add three ports so uh, for you need to get yourself a wrench and uh, then you can um, just add in th three ports and in, into into the side like this here so, so there's three types of ports. So this one is the uh, output port. So this is where you're going to uh, put your, where the power is going to be coming out. This is your water port here. So this is where uh, water, just plain old water is going to be going in. And then here's your fuel port. And that's where you will uh, put in your fuel for the, um, <clears throat> for the reaction. So as you can see here, I've got the output here and it's, it's powering all of these, um, uh, quantum miners and then over here so I have the have the fuel going in here and then just this is just plain old water going in here now the fuel is a uh, is a little bit of a process let me see if I can get up in the air here and I can kind of show you so what you need is is a uh, neutron activator that's this uh, block here and um, the only thing that uh, <clears throat> that you need to uh, put through there is are these uranium cells so I have a little filter block here uh, filter conveyor that will pull off any of the uranium cells and put them on this this track here right so, and everything else goes down here into the fire because I, I we don't don't need it all we need is those uranium cells uh, so the uranium cells get dropped off here and they go in this little, like, little loop here because as you can see it's not processing all of them so I kind of loop them through uh, so yeah I need to add more uh, power to this really isn't being powered well enough to <laughs> to, to kind of you know uh, keep up with the with the, the, the demand uh, but basically, yeah, I wanted to recycle these in. Now you notice that the, the little pieces of scrap, that, which is what a byproduct that you get out of this, uh, 
what it does is it converts the uranium cells into a gas, and that gas then goes into a chemistry mixer, which is what we have here. And then I just, because not all of them are getting converted, I, I recycle them through. But as you can see, there's quite a few building up here. So yeah, that just means my, my setup here isn't really optimized very well. So this generates ga the uh, uranium gas and it goes into a, a mixer here. Now here we have uh, this fluorite. Now, it's, this is just a water filter and you just put regular water into it and the output on this is fluorite. And then this fluorite combines to make this uranium fuel. Uh, this is just a uh, reinforced storage unit here to kind of hold the backup but as you can see I'm not really generating enough fuel to for to back up much uh, although it might be full actually I can't really tell yeah I'm not really sure uh, and then I'm then the power is coming out here and as you can see I'm powering these uh, quantum miners here and uh, yeah I'm, I'm actually probably overflowing in here yeah, I am. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Oh, it's crazy. Now, of course, what you would do is you put this through. You put this into your uh, storage system. That that's what you would do. But uh, obviously, I didn't do it. So yeah, it's producing quite a bit of stuff, and I'm looks like I'm powering all of these quantum miners with this setup here. But as you can see, it's not really optimized. Yeah, I think all, all of them are being powered. So probably one nuclear reactor, I think, would power your whole system. Now, what I probably should should have should do, or what you could do, is once you get this jump started, is to you know uh, take part of your power and run it run it back into your neutron activator, uh, so that it's you know it's generating a lot more uh, a lot more gas. Because as you can see, there's a bit of a pause there if you wanted this to be continuous. Although, you know, as you can see, there's just a, you get a, that's a lot of uh, quantum miners there. So let me just recap real quick here because I kind of went over it a little, maybe a, a little quickly here. So you've got your quantum miners here. And what you're looking for are these uranium cells that I'm holding in my hand. Now, I've got a filter, a conveyor filter here that's filtered to the uranium cells. And it just drops them onto this loop here. And as you can see, I'm pulling those uranium cells off the main, the main one too here, and sending them along this track here to kind of give another. So the uranium cells go into this uh, neutron activator. And again, I'm looping them around. Goes into the neutron activator which generates this uranium gas. The uranium gas goes into your chemistry mixer along with this fluorite, which is you, which you get from a uh, filter, a water filter. That's that basically, uh, you've got a water, uh, a uh, liquid pump there, goes into a water filter and that gives you your fluorite. So you have your two inputs and then that produces the uranium fuel, which then goes into your uh, fuel import port here. Uh, you also need to give it water, just plain old water, which is here. And then your output is, uh, you know, put your output someplace, output port someplace, configure it with your wrench. And there you go, you've got your power. And then to recap the building of it, it's a multi-block. So you got a five by five, you got the little area around with your controller, and then you've got the evaporation modules, which is just a little three by three, another row of casings, another row of casings in a sort of square format. Then you get your little diamond shape. And again, the easy way to do this is just put one on each in the middle there, and then you know, block, 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 and then knock out those two. And then just another square, two, two high, one, two, two high of a three by three square. And that's it. And then add your uh, output ports where, where they're needed, you know, wherever you want to, you can, you can add them anywhere. It doesn't matter. Uh, but they do go on this, this level here, this second level here, I do believe. 
I don't think you I, I don't think you can add them. I think they have to be here. Uh, I could be wrong though. Yeah, I could be wrong. I don't think they go on the bottom. I'm not sure you can put them on the top up there. But uh, you could try it and see if it works. I, I just I haven't tried it, so I don't know. But there you there you go. You got your three ports, and uh, <clears throat> it takes a little bit of resources to get to this point, but. You know, once you're ready to build this nuclear reactor, you're going to have all the resources that you need because you're going to be having your tier one and then your tier two, and then your, then uh, finally you'll be ready to build these nuclear reactors. And then this should, I think, supply you with plenty of power that you need for your um, need for your system. And of course, you could always build more to, more than one of these if you need to, because uh, you know, as you can see, <laughs> you could generate a lot of resources here. Oh my goodness, that's just crazy. So there you have it, nuclear reactor. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty straightforward. is isn't very difficult to do. You just kind of have to put all the pieces together in order to get it to, to get it to work. And again, it's just a matter of of uh, getting your uh, uranium cells going in the right direction, pulling those off your main system so they'll be available for your neutron activator. And again, the fluorite, neutron activator, uh, fluorite and, ur and ur uranium gas will make your uranium fuel in your neutron activator. Uh, so, yeah, pretty neat little thing. Generates a lot of power. Seems to be, uh, yeah, this seems to be working pretty well, actually. Um, you've, you've got a little bit of a pause here in between uh, the uh, power. I think it has to build up the power. But uh, I mean, that's how many how many miners did I put down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten miners, and it's activating all of them. So good gracious, that's a lot of stuff. So there you have it. So appreciate it. Thank you for the support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.